Hello everyone, my name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. The Centre for Design Technology staff and students provide courses, equipment, consultancy and research in product design at the University of Brighton. Hello everyone and today I'd like to have a quick look at focal length inside Maxwell Studio. Focal length isn't really a kind of a debatable topic, it's just a really uh, plug and play sort of situation. And what focal length is, is a, um, it's kind of a leftover from uh, photography. It's a real world value used in photography in, in cameras. And if you come from a photography background, you're likely just to uh, jump right in and understand it straight away. What I've got here is a very simple scene of a single object on a, uh, on a background back plane and I've got four cameras, one, two, three, four, and they've all got different focal lengths. And in Maxwell the focal length is in camera parameters and optics. And it's uh, measured in millimeters because it's a real world value. And effectively focal length is the zoom of a camera. So uh, 50 millimeters gives you this view. Uh, 80 millimeters, which is kind of the next uh, level up usually uh, in cameras, because it's a real world setting, you generally do tend to get um, presets, or not strictly presets, but values or common values, let's call them that. So 80 millimeters, and then 135 millimeters, and then 300 millimeters. And the change is actually quite gradual, but you'll see in the 300 millimeters, so a large focal length the sides of the object appear uh, parallel and the, there's not very much distortion in the um, appearance of the object whereas a uh, comparison to a low focal length of say 50 millimeters you can see the sides of the object are no longer parallel or they don't, they don't appear parallel anymore they appear to be pointing towards a vanishing point and there is some distortion on the top of the model Focal lengths uh, for product design would normally be uh, between 80 and 135, but in general you can go as low as 50 or as high as 300. It depends on uh, your object and mainly it will depend on the scale of your scene. Now uh, for large objects or the larger the object, the lower focal length you'll generally want and that's a kind of throwback from photography where uh, with a very large object um, say the size of a car uh, you won't want to zoom in very much because you'll need the camera to be physically be very far away in order to fit the entire object into the viewport and if you're uh, photogra photographing a very small object you'll want a high focal length so that you can zoom in without actually getting the camera in the way and again that's reflected in um, Maxwell Studio because it's what the audience will expect to see basically so if this object was very very small I would probably could go up as 300 and when I say very very small I mean kind of in the order of uh, millimeters you know um, less than 50 millimeters cubed for example uh, but a very large uh, say uh, a very large object with a very small focal length that would normally be in the order of um, meters, you know, let's say five meters. But it all it all depends on the uh, individual scene and just experiment really. Um, that's the only thing I can say. Um, you know, plug in a value of fifty and then plug in a value of uh, one three five. See which you prefer. Usually, um, product design will require a slightly higher focal length than um, other types of um, photography but that's just the uh, nature of the beast and one thing I do want to show you is um, actually uh, the effect of increasing the focal length on the requirement of positioning the camera because these views in camera 1 and camera 4 down here in the fire window they look similar but that's only because I'm actually moving the camera further away and if I go to the perspective view in my viewport you can see uh, just how different the camera views actually are that is the um, 300 uh, millimeter focal length and then this is the 50 millimeter focal length you can see the cameras have to go back uh, in ever increasing increments and again that's uh, because the uh, focal length effectively what it's doing is just zooming in if I um, go to camera one and simply 
uh, change the focal length to 300 without moving away you can see it zooms in but then I have to physically move the camera back in order to actually get um, the uh, object in shot but changing back to 15 millimeters will just give us what we had before okay that's pretty much it um, remember it's you have to have a camera selected and it's under camera parameters optics focal length between um, 80 and 135 would normally be where I started but if I had a particularly large object I might go to 50 a particularly small object I might go as high as 300 thanks very much see you again soon for more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com